All right, so the only issue I've had with this roaster ever was that it, um, the gas flow wasn't working for natural gas. It was, they told me it would, and they made sure, they, they clarified that I needed to have about, um, in, in essence, like seven bars of pressure to, or seven water column, I'm sorry, to make sure that the machine worked. And every engineer I talked to here in the US didn't agree with that. Um, and, and what it boiled down to is that the, the plumbing for the system that came with the, the roaster itself, the, the orifices were too small because it was prepared for a high pressure propane rather than a, a lower pressure natural gas since it's you know not bottled and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, let me just show you what I've done um, to increase, like basically I just almost doubled my, my water column and I wanna show you what I've got here. Okay, so um, I just started this literally uh, three minutes ago, four minutes ago maybe, and I'm already getting preheating way, way faster than I, I ever have before. All right, so here's the situation. Um, from the orifices, which I drilled out, um, I'll uh, show you the chart uh, whenever I can do that, but I drilled out the orifices so they're a little bit um, better set for pro or for natural gas. Now, this is a, a, um, a gauge that I got here myself. It measures in basically water column, inches of water, and now I'm getting almost six. And if we backtrack, this is probably the next issue that I would really have if I needed to bump it up. I think these 90 degree angles, um, they clearly slow down gas flow. Um, but anyways, so what I've done is I've got this, you know, which this is all stock in here. And then it comes down here to a solenoid that I got. I'll post the specs on the solenoid. Here you go, you can see it. Um, the real issue with this solenoid is that the orifice is much bigger than the orifice that it came with. And so that's really the only difference that I, I worked on here was to get an orifice that was a little bit larger to allow more flow through it. So then you can see that then goes to um, down here, I believe it's, it's almost in a 90 back in here, but I've tried to curve it out to where it's you know a little bit more gradual and then it comes up in here and then it goes to an iron pipe back there. So anyways, I've increased my pressure drastically at um, there. I, I can't believe I just got up to heating that fast. Uh, now I'm gonna have to figure out how to dial things down back a little bit to uh, keep the flow going. My solution that I had in the past, and this is what didn't work, is I had put this, uh, this flow, uh, flow meter that should be rated for what I've done here, but I don't know if it's focusing on this right. You can see this measures from uh, 50 up to 200 in terms of SCFH. Um, yeah, I forget the, the thing, but it's basically for to measure flow. And I think what I should have done is gotten one that measured up to 20, and that would have actually helped the, the process better. But still, um, what happened here, this is turned around, you had to use 90 degree um, connections to get into this thing. And those 90s really, really slow down the pressure. Um, basically, taking this thing out, I went from three to about five and a half water column just by limiting two different uh, 90 degrees here. So anyways, this should really help. Um, the, again, the only thing I've done is I've taken out the, um, the needle valves that adjust the flow and I've put a new water column rated thing here. I've cut out that whole middle section and then I've just enlarged the orifices to a, uh, I think a 67 drill bit.